Hi everyone and welcome back to Mystic Moons Astrology. My name is Ashley and today I wanted to get on the page and focus a little bit on the magic of synchronicity. So either you saw the title of the video and you've been experiencing synchronicities or you're wanting to know more and learn a little bit more about synchronicities. Well, I wrote an article and it's really from pure experience and independent research, but I wanted to share it with all of you and explore this topic a little bit more. So as some of you may know, synchronicity is a call and the response between you and the universe. Some don't know what synchronicity is and some have never experienced it. Let's start off with the basics. The word synchronicity is a concept introduced by Carl Jung, which states that events are meaningful coincidences if they occur with no casual relationship yet seem to be meaningfully related. Jung's theory states that synchronicity is an acasual connecting principle. When you experience having two or more things happen simultaneously in a manner that is meaningful to you, for the people around you and suggest an underlying pattern. My personal opinion is if you don't believe in the signs sent to you from the universe, AKA synchronicity, you will not be open to receive them in the first place. It's almost as if you are sabotaging something that could be excellent because you can't even fathom it in the first place. If the signs the universe is wanting to convey are falling on the listener's deaf ears, then the lesson, the direction, and the message can be lost. Personal learning and spiritual growth is also hindered by not paying attention to these signs and synchronicities. Those, however, that are receptive to these messages from the universe may need a guide to decipher what's being conveyed. I do wish, like a dream guide, there was one out there for synchronicity, but I'm not sure how each sign would be conveyed if they are only understood by the individual receiving the message. Examples of synchronicity vary and all have to do with the five senses. How we channel them are all different. Some of mine come through as affirmations that I'm on the right track almost as if it's a nod and a wink from the universe that I am indeed where I need to be. <clears throat> I've been seeing signs from the universe since I tapped into my own spiritual journey. Since then, like a magnet to the signs, I've been aware of meaningful coincidences that have came up in my everyday life. And the same can be said for you as well. If you are experiencing this, I'm sure that you feel a magnet to it. If it is coming your way all the time. So <clears throat> two different, excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink. <clears throat> two different types of synchronicity are repetitive and relational. Repetitive is seeing the same name, numbers, number sequences, the same sign, the same thing, just wrote in a different form or fashion. When we see these same words or numbers repeated, the universe is telling us something. You need to pay attention to the repeated word. There is a reason the word keeps making its presence. It's one key in solving the mystery. We don't know how many pieces of the message we will get. We don't have any indication how long these repetitive messages will be continually delivered. My theory is that they will be ever present until you either get what the universe is trying to tell you or until you are ready for the next part of the mystery and the next puzzle piece. When the universe wants to show you something, it will many times be very bold. <clears throat> it may be repeated a series of times or it may just keep showing up. In this instance, pay close attention to what the universe is trying to bring to your attention. I think that these synchronicities come up again and again until you understand what it's trying to tell you and convey. Relational synchronicity relates directly to a situation you've been experiencing or thinking of. 
We all pay attention to different things because they relate to our path. A turtle lover will scout out the turtles near and far. Same with a, uh, let's say a car, you have a Jeep and you are wanting to see all the Jeeps. You notice all the Jeeps now that you've got the Jeep. That is their particular interest. So they're, they're more apt to spotting them while they're out and about. Also, you may have someone that has been on your mind, maybe seeing their name everywhere. This is relational synchronicity. Maybe you are the one that's conjuring up the ability for their name to be everywhere you turn. But is it too coincidental, coincidental that it's everywhere? Maybe they're thinking of you too. Maybe the universe is confirming feelings about them through showing them your, showing you their name. It could also be the universe telling you to call the person. Maybe you haven't spoken and you need to. And what about the 1111 that you see everywhere? Are you actually looking down at your phone at just the right time for it to pop up? Or are you holding your phone at 1110 and waiting for the next minute to appear? If so, that's a way you are manifesting it and not allowing the universe to speak through the signs. Relational and repetitive synchronicity are both common and they can be triggered by intuition. I personally have experienced a lot of synchronicity since believing in it. This past year for me, the same words and numbers have been repeated significant times. While acknowledging these same signs day in and day out, they still repeat. I know that they will continue to be repeated and I just keep getting shown the same thing. I have not came to the lesson or learned what I've needed to or from the repeated numbers and words just yet. See, this is the mystery to unlocking these synchronicities. They do mean something. I believe that they will keep repeating to let you know you are still on the right path. Bringing awareness that this is still something you haven't learned or experienced quite yet. <clears throat> My experience with synchronicity allows me allows it to be a spotlight and sometimes a guide for the things that I do. This article has been written with some synchronicity underlying it. When I first started this months back, I kept it on one of my Google Docs with just the name of the article written, nothing else. I just knew I wanted to get it out, so starting it was the beginning. When I came back to it, I started writing. I was on a roll. I wrote down everything I knew about coincidences, and after looking into research on it, I spiraled down a rabbit hole of information. After searches and information leading me in a direction I didn't expect to go, I got distracted from writing this article to study the relationship between quantum physics theory of entanglement and synchronicity. But somehow through studying it, I knew I was on the right path with my topic. And the reason I knew this was because there would be the same repeated numbers I see in my daily life on these pages I pulled up while I was researching. There would also be things that resonated with me, giving me a feeling that I was on track. So essentially what started as a passion project has turned into a personal journey of my own beliefs about consciousness and belief that the universe is amazing and has everything to offer someone who's open to receiving. Is there a link between physics to synchronicity? Quantum entanglement and casualty have came up during my research on synchronicity. I don't think the connection's misleading or wrong. Unfortunately, we don't fully understand consciousness or entanglement. Therefore, I can't fully say how these two may affect one another. I can say that as we progress in science and independent research, that we should have an idea in the future. Um, We should have an idea in the future if it has any connection to synchronicity. Entanglement is a bond that forms between two particles. 
It remains such a strong bond that even when they separate and are at a long range of distance from one another, they still remain inextricably linked. The connection is still so strong over distance that even if one reflects a small change, the other will simultaneously reflect the same in the other particle. After researching quantum entanglement, I think it does have a link to synchronicity. Here's the thing I've discovered with linking entanglement to synchronicity. I think that like quantum entanglement, bots can be transferred to make the receiver aware of many things such as warnings to even the approval or direction of our journey. Since synchronicity has to do with sending signs to an individual, I do think that this may be one way that this is done. It could be done through the universe or others in our life through telepathic communication from one thing to another or one person to another person. If there's a few things that I've learned from venturing into physics, it's that the theories are endless and the black hole of information is deep and therein lies no point of ending or resolve. So stepping away from the rabbit hole of information overload and having an insightful conversation with someone close to me allowed me to see things in a much simpler way. I heard a friend say, if it's already thought of, then that thought is given back. So let me repeat this again. If it's already thought of, then that thought is given back. Simple enough of a theory, but I was searching. I didn't think that the simplest of thoughts on the subject would turn my head away from searching through the vast amounts of information out there, but somehow the simplest made the most sense. <clears throat> The communications of things is oneness. The concept of undis mundus is Latin for one world. This was popularized in the 20th century by Carl Jung. He believed that both the observer and the connected phenomenon ultimately stem from the same source, the undis mundus. In truth, there is no distance between anything as everything is one and in the same place at the same time. If that's the case, then we are literally whiteboards that are blank when we step out into the world. If we don't let if we don't let our circumstances guide us, I think that naturally the universe would step in to and up to the challenge if we allowed it to guide us. Say I'm a whiteboard and I'm blank and I go out my door with an extremely open mind trusting the universe and its direction for me for the day. Sure, I need to make some conscious choices to allow the universe to step in and write on that whiteboard. But first of them being conscious decision, maybe go out the door or get in my car for work. And on my way, a, a series of events can occur and will occur. I see signs, numbers on buildings, license plates, I get stuck behind someone who is playing a song that I haven't heard of in years. Stopping off at Starbucks for coffee, I get the medium coffee instead of my normal large, and it costs six sixty-six dollars with tax. Looking further on the receipt handed to me before I get my coffee, I see the barista has a name of someone I know but I only see on occasion, so now I'm thinking about that person and their life. and how they are lately and pulling away I turn up my radio and it's a song that reminds me of the same person that I'm thinking about. Getting to work the card on my desk has the name of someone working for me bearing the name of the same person. I could seriously go on and on. I know I experience this on almost a daily basis. These are not mere coincidences. The universe is talking, leading and asking you to be open to these signs. There is more to us than just the daily routine. There are signs of magic all around us. We just have to be open to them. 
Are we capable to manifest signs? If so, we get into a different thought that has no scientific basis, the law of attraction, which deals with a human being able to manifest things through thought. This philosophy involves the process of like energy attracting like energy. My most recent experience of synchronicity occurred because I manifested it. One day I challenged the universe to show me certain signs. These are ones that I've been seeing lately and I wanted them repeated to me that day in bold form. So I really called that in. I focused, meditated that morning and really focused in and I wanted the universe to confirm these things for me. Asking out loud that if they did hold any weight or meaning behind them, for them to be shown to me this day in a bolder form. Unmistakably, the universe delivered majorly. The numbers, the reoccurring words, all of it was speaking through receipts, having people greet me and share their names with me, an email account of exactly the same numbers I've been seeing day in and day out, and it blew me away. Not only did the universe speak to me that day through the signs, I believe that it accepted the challenge and proved that if you ask it, you shall receive it. How were these signs different than any of the others from the previous days? Well, it had to do with how bold they were when they stood out to me. The numbers were not just there and repeated yet again before my eyes. I actually had the numbers in a long number sequence and it was just two of the numbers that repeated many, many, many times just in one number sequence. So if it, <clears throat> excuse me, so if it was you know, for example, the number 30, it would have looked like this on a receipt. One, one, two, three, four, three, zero, three, zero, three, zero, three. So all of the N numbers match the number that I was seeing on a daily basis all the time. So these signs were different from normal day signs too because I asked for them and they were delivered. That day confirmed to me that not only do chance synchronicities occur throughout our day, we as humans have the power to manifest these signs to us as well. I would consider this a relational form of synchronicity as it deals with humans being able to conjure up signs just by thinking about them. <clears throat> So, as I had said before, the simple enough of a theory of if it's already thought of, then that thought is given back. The universe is truly speaking to us on a daily basis. It is so magical and wrapping our head around it is hard. Um, people that aren't as spiritually inclined don't really want to believe maybe so much in these signs and synchronicities. but. Um, and turning our head towards them, acknowledging them, also being grateful for them coming our way um, and showing us that we are on our path. It really allows greater wisdom towards our journey and allowing it to be more open and free to allow the universe to bring in blessings to us and bring in communication, divine communication. So this has just been a little bit about the magic of synchronicity. And if you have experienced synchronicity or experiencing it, if this resonated with you, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like if you like this video and it resonated. And yeah, I will possibly be speaking more about synchronicity in the future, so stay tuned. I'll talk to you all very soon. Take care.